Hey, welcome to Arizona Barbecue Outfitters. We're doing a video today on our Scottsdale grill. I got three different configurations behind me. We're gonna explain them all, and we're gonna start with this Scottsdale here first. This is the standard Scottsdale. Lid and body are all fabricated out of 3 16th steel plate. The lid is real heavy, so we have gas shocks to assist in opening and closing the lid. And we'll open it up. This one here, we have two style grates. We have our solid round grate, and we have our V grate or Argentinian grate. They're all fabricated out of stainless steel. You can see the color difference here, but it will not rust. It's 304. The face again just slips open like that. You have your charcoal grate here, and then your bottom where your ash is going to fall. And you can see from this particular video how close it gets to the fire. And then we'll come on back here to the back side. So this is the big difference on the Scottsdale lid. So the Scottsdale lid, say you got an island with a backsplash, it gives you minimal clearance when you're opening and closing it. So here is it clo closing and opening. And you can see you don't have, have to have much room behind it. The big thing to the Scottsdale is, if you look at this back line right here, when you elevate this grilling grate up, it is going to only elevate up to, to that to that line there. So you get about 15 to 17 inches of clearance from the fire. Now we'll go into the next grill. Let me drop this down. Close the lid up. Now this grill is a Scottsdale, but it has a Kingman lid on it. And if you see, we got two crank wheels. It's dual elevating. Again, the lid here is fabricated out of 10 gauge because it's a Kingman, it's a lot bigger lid. The body is 3 16 and at a customer request, we put a um, square tubing support system on the bottom of it with expanded the middle across the bottom. I'll open the lid up. Again, this lid has gas assist. So the big difference on this lid, see how far that lid goes back? So that means when you elevate these drilling grates up like so, they go up as high as you want them to go. And if you notice in this particular grill here, it has a brick lined bottom, which is gonna pit off a tremendous amount of heat. We have this rotisserie system going across it. And I'm using one crank wheel, so I got the lock handle on that side down. So that way I can elevate both grates up at the exact same time. And if you notice here, this little pin, so you take and remove this pin out like so and now all the grates elevate up independently you got that one there let me get the rake out of the way and if you notice here now i need to i need to position it so if you're going to be doing using a rotisserie system as you can already tell this system right here goes all the way across so at that point whatever you're rotisserieing here and whatever you're grilling there you're going to have to have it pinned in order to bring that rotisserie system up and down on its own. <clears throat> Let me lower this back down. This side will do this one. And if you look on the back of the screw back here, so you see how far the lid here extends back from the firebox versus how the Scottsdale is. And I'll open the Scottsdale up again so you can just see in comparison. That's the difference. So this one, if you don't have anything behind it, you get a lot of clearance on the grates going up and down, but you can't have anything back behind it too close. And now we'll go to the end grill. So this end grill is probably my favorite grill because to me, I consider this grill bulletproof. This grill right here with the dual elevating grates and the bearing system here, it's a lot more maintenance. This grill is very low maintenance. It's just a grilling machine. So it's a single elevating grill. It has the Scottsdale front face that drops open. You have the Kingman lid, which is fabricated out of 10 gauge. Still has the gas shocks back, in, back there to help open and close the lid. And you can see, I can do it just one finger practically. gas shocks the stop bracket assembly there and you can slide that whole lid right off 
So again, on this one, we have different configurations inside for you to see. We have the V grates. We have expanded metal grates. This is what the customer requests. And then we also have the rotisserie system on it. And I'll elevate this one up. You can see here, this elevates up as high as you want it to go. Again, the face drops open to get easy access to the charcoal or adding fuel to it. Um, again, you can just line this guy with brick if you want to. These grates are all interchangeable. So on the Scottsdale, you get this grate, you get a solid round grate, or you can get the expanded metal grate, whichever one you prefer. And then we have the troughs here that catch the grease drippings off of the, um, the V grates. This is a one grill uh, rotisserie system. I believe you can turn up to 65 pounds of meat unbalanced. So it's a very sturdy, durable. The spit is 5 8 thick. It's a great, a great rotisserie unit. We love them on our grills. And the other thing we do is we put these, this little system. So like if you wanted to take this rotisserie system off, it's simply lifting your spit out. And then you can take your motor and lift it off. You don't have to remove anything else. So that's what make this, makes this system so cool. <clears throat> Back up. Got this guy lower back down. And again, taking the lid here and just one hand drops back down. The, the lid will not close if this rotisserie system is not fully down, which I didn't have it. But, uh, but that's our three configurations. You got the original Scottsdale down there. We have our dual elevating grill here, which is a lot more higher maintenance. It's a great grill. For the grates to go up and down just a little more maintenance and then we have the kingman the scottsdale with the kingman lid that in my opinion is the best grill that we make um, if you guys got any questions you know give us a holler visit our website at www.azbbqgrills.com or call our shop 520-622-8335 i think we build one of the best grills made in the usa you know i know we got some competitors out there but i think we knocked them out of the park with what we build here you got any questions just give us a call visit our website thanks for visiting have a great day and remember buy made in the usa